How you doing out there? <laughs> this is John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer, and I'm talking to you today because there's a guy named Michael Savage. He runs a radio show, and he's really good. Uh, I haven't listened to him in a long time, but he told me about this writer. This writer's written more than 40 books, and I wrote a sonnet about him because he's right. Is this not happiness? He wrote about happiness. Sir, Dr. Lin Yutong wrote a literary masterpiece, a work of genius. He's the author of Profound Wisdom, The Importance of Living. That's the book for all of us. The Importance of Living for all of us. Chinese philosophy is spectacularly insightful. It's worth learning. Please read up on Dr. Lin Yutong. Study him. Enrich your life's blessings. He's really good. Dr. Lin Yutong believed that we miss most of the beauty surrounding us. We just don't see it. We're surrounded by it, but we don't see it. When we fail to see the miracles blossoming throughout our entire universe, beauty is everywhere. It's in beautiful blue azure skies, fluffy clouds, hot coffee. See beauty everywhere. Recognize happiness when it's right in front of you. Only you can open your eyes so you can see. Beauty right in front of us is taken for granted. Aldous Huxley said, most people have this capacity, an infinite capacity to take everything for granted. We just don't see. Everything is taken for granted. It's unappreciated right in front of our face. Reality is right in front of us and we don't see. It's dismissed. Souls, our souls, seemingly dead. Hearts grown callous, jaded, super satiated. Ennui, boredom, beyond belief, emptiness. Well, the smart souls, the ones that know, that have grown mature, they actually see what is true happiness. That's what his book is about. A child's laughter, is this not happiness? A loving embrace, is that not happiness? A thrilling roller coaster ride. You're scared to death, but you know really nothing's going to happen. You like to be scared like that, and it's safe, and you just love it. Is this not happiness? Is this not happiness? This is true face. A roaring fireplace, a frigid winter's night, to be snug as a bug inside your home. Isn't that happiness? A sizzling steak. You can almost smell it. Delicious aroma. Happiness way deep down inside. Master, Dr. Lin Yutang, he writes of cutting a succulent, beautiful, fat, red watermelon. He was so hungry for this melon. Dr. Yutang stops. Is this not heaven? Cutting this melon and it was so succulent and it was so beautiful and it was going to be so delicious. And he thought, is this not happiness? Because it is. Maybe it's even a piece of heaven that God gave us something that luscious. Dr. Lin Yutang was up on his roof and he got down and he did his repairs. But his neighbor was up on the roof and his neighbor fell off and broke his leg and couldn't work. And Dr. Lin Yutang was saying, hey, at least I can work. I didn't break my leg. Is this not happiness? I'm sorry he broke his leg, but it wasn't me. Another time, some guests came from out of town, and they didn't have any refreshments. And his wife went out the back door and went down and, and sold her gold brooch, a beautiful brooch that her grandmother had given her. She bought refreshments, came in the back way, gave the refreshments to the guests. And Dr. Lin Yutang was saying, is this not happiness? What? He, he didn't want his wife to have sold the brooch, but he thought, is this not happiness? Then I got a wife that was willing to do that so I wouldn't lose face. She did that for him. Is this not happiness? And he says, those beautiful events that are right in front of us go zip right over our head. We don't see it. Why? Because we're blind. Dr. Lin Yutong, he thinks the very best part of our lives. We miss, we miss, 
the danger of ignoring angelic miracles that are right in front of our own faces. Einstein and Goethe, they said everything is a miracle. I mean, why does your heart keep beating? It doesn't take any coffee breaks. I mean, why does your mind work the way it does? Your soul, your spirit. The miracle of antibiotics, think of that. I mean, where would we be without antibiotics? Most of us wouldn't even be here, we'd be dead. Antibiotics are a miracle. Is that a haunt of happiness, to have antibiotics? A faucet running with clean drinking water. A third of this world doesn't have clean drinking water. Isn't that a wonderful, is that not happiness? It sure is. The spectacle of computers. They're amazing. There's a computer that can do uh, three trillion mathematical computation per second. So I wonder why there isn't more governmental audits. Where is all that money going? I mean, washing machines, is that not happiness? Can you, you have any idea what it used to be? You have to go down to the river where there's the banditos and the, and the robbers and the awful people down there and wash your clothes in dirty water and it's freezing water and you really couldn't get them clean. Do you realize what washing machines meant to free women mostly? Look at refrigerators. What a miracle. You open one, you think, gee, that food isn't going to spoil because in the old days, before refrigeration, you had to eat everything before it spoiled, and it would spoil quickly, especially in a hot climate. The miracle of air conditioning. I think air conditioning is something else. I mean, it's wonderful. You're never too hot. You're never too cold because air conditioners are a miracle. Is that not happiness? And look at magic carpet automobiles. You can get in a car and go anywhere. I mean, kings didn't have it this good. Are that, is that not happiness? Because it is. The miracle of smartphones. I'm amazed right now. You, you can have one of those smartphones and you can hold it in your hand and you're hooked up to the world. Right now, the world is flat technology wise. Everybody's got technology. Good. It's better for everybody. I mean, it's something else. Smartphones. Gadgets now galore. Joyous thrills. It's in, isn't that all happiness? Because it is to me. Kevin Spacey, a great actor, man. He could have been a great president, too. I like him a lot. Kevin Spacey, I'm talking to you. In that movie that you had, the film American Beauty, you saw the light in that movie. In your role, they murdered you, shot you in the back of the head, and you're dying, and you're dead, you're lying there, and you're thinking, everything that you see around you, the beauty is everywhere so bright. And you thank God for every second of your miserable life, because you're a witness to all that beauty, thinking there's so much beauty in this world, I don't think I can stand it. And it's true, if you just look around, he could only see happiness. Now he was dead, thanking God for every second of his miserable life. Great job, Kevin Spacey. Surrounded by beauty everywhere, still people whine and snivel. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, if you have a job and you can close the door and you're with your family, kings didn't have it this good. You've got to quit this whining and sniveling and understand the fact Maybe you have some people that really love you. You should appreciate it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. You can't. You can't take your family for granted. The flood of wisdom. Inside out. Inside out. A lady coined that for me. Lady Sandra Albee. Right. Inside out. That's good. These things happen. They, we don't understand. There's angels all around us. Angels unawares. Guardian angels. People helping us. It's horrible negligence to take those things for granted. The miracles, the ungrateful blind people that have eyes and still can't see. Emotional cripples, they can't feel anything because, I guess it's because they don't want to, or they're drunk, or they're on drugs. The clouded mind sees nothing, hears nothing, understands nothing. I used to have this sweetheart a long time ago, beautiful girl. She said, of all the highs there are, I like straight best. I like that, to be in control. And I think when your mind is straight and clear and not clouded, I think you're better off for it. But that's a decision you gotta make. Everybody needs painkillers. And you know, people, they won't give painkillers because people are overdosing. Well, I'm just telling you, maybe you'll adopt this, Dr. Lin Yutong, and understand that everything is a miracle. 
And if you'll just look around you, maybe you'll understand. Understand that what? That it's up to you. You can make life a heaven and you can make life a hell. And if you don't like your job, you got to understand this, all right? Franz Kafka and Marilyn Monroe said this. Work itself is a form of prayer. It's a form of prayer. You're not just doing this for yourself. You're doing it for your family and you're doing it for God. Doing your duty, doing your best. And that's why, you know, work can be a lot of fun too. Especially if it's within your talent. And I'm telling you this, everything is a miracle. And I'm telling you, God bless all of you. Ja'Allah, Allah Ja, pour vous. Au revoir, mes amis.